Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see. Okay, this week. All right, so what the week holds is the Five of Cups. Oh, okay. Um, all right, let's see what else is going on. The advice. The Six of Cups. Okay. And the outcome is the Ace of Pentacles. Very nice. Okay, um, Aries. Okay, so it looks like you you could have been involved in something where you're not the only person, okay? And so it caused you a bit of grief, you know? Um, I'm seeing, like, the grief comes from when the person has to leave and go to the other person. So you know about this other person or vice versa. They know about you. Or Aries, your person knows about your main person. And so there's grief here because of distance, um, because of something that somebody can't control, crying over spilled milk. Well, you knew what the situation was when you got into it. The Five of Cups also could, this right here could signal the fact that um, maybe you and somebody are just not together, not communicating, not seeing each other. You don't see eye to eye. There's a breakdown in the relationship, the love affair, maybe even due to like childish behavior or someone wanting to, um, someone was careless and child and childlike in their behavior in terms of how they dealt with you. I don't know if they did this because you guys grew up together or the energy was very fun or like maybe you have a childlike spirit or maybe you came to them with maybe like a carefree spirit to where, you know, you, you weren't really putting off the vibes where you wanted much or, um, that you wanted a commitment. So they felt like they can handle you in that way. And it seems as if somebody got their feelings hurt. It's like somebody was like, okay, well, you know, my situation, so I can just ghost you. I cannot call you back. I can, I'm um, not reach out to you for months. I can do this. I can do that. You'll be okay with it. Even though you weren't. If somebody hurt your feelings to the core. Because they didn't choose you. This could be somebody that you grew up with. Um, maybe that you met in your hometown. You took to your hometown. Someone who you feel like is a soulmate, a sweetheart. Or vice versa. This is how you feel. They feel about you. It says that the relationship is recoverable. Whatever happened between the two of you, whatever transpired, you guys can't come back together. But not before you say, you know, I love you. Or say something, the simpler things. Declutter. Declutter their relationship. Declutter your home. Whatever. But you need to declutter. If something is too muffled, too cluttered, too... You can't see the forest for the trees. Um, somebody is maybe, you know, your, your judgment is clouded maybe because you are running all of your you know your thoughts through your emotions which is kind of backwards some of you could work with children i don't know why that's coming up some of you i don't know something about your bed your bedside manner um or maybe um having more etiquette in, in what you say Something about saying I'm sorry, saying I love you, the simpler things. Somebody feels at home with you, you know, but they're not making the choice of you. They feel balanced with you. They feel peace with you. They feel a sense of service and duty. There's opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles that this person wants to come back around, but I don't see much progression. Maybe you may even rekindle the relationship by way of sex. We'll have sex and then that means we're back on or this is what someone is wanting from you or vice versa you're wanting this from someone someone could be saying i want a sex only connection this is what i have to offer there could be proposal 
It's like somebody's making a, an appeal to you or a proposal to you. Somebody that maybe even lives kind of far away from you. The Six of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Um, somebody who maybe you even moved away from or you thought about moving away from this situation. Again, you might, you understand that like there's a choice that needs to be made and this person isn't making the choice. They didn't choose you a long time ago which is six of cups and they keep dangling the carrot in front of you as if they're going to choose you now. This is, um, the six of swords at the bottom of the deck. It says either you're going to move on together and you're going to understand what this is and accept it, or you're going to move on and, you know, apart, but you need to move on from <clears throat> previous heartbreak, heartache. It's holding you back. Something's holding you back. It's like you know you need to leave, but you won't leave because of this emotional stuff. And you think about what if, you know, I don't know, running your thoughts through your emotion. This is what I have for you, Aries. I hope that it resonates. I hope that you gained something from it. If you did, let me know in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there if you need your own personal reading. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Yes, if you took something from the reading, you could actually give back. You could buy me a coffee. Um, you can find me here live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.